Crafty Babes, it's Andrea. I'm excited to share with you a little look inside my Me album. This is volume number five, and it's, it's already getting pretty full. I didn't realize that I've had, had so many of these. Um, I thought I just finished volume four. It feels like I just finished volume four, but as of January of this year, I started volume five. So I've got quite a bit to share with you. If you are up for a look inside, we can, uh, we can get started. The beginning of 2018, I had started a new playlist that I was pretty obsessed about. So I made note of that, <laughs> that I, there was uh, a specific song and that um, I was, you know, in the midst of my lazy vacation, I was prepping to start a podcast. I had a huge to-do list of all the things that I wanted to do while I was still on vacation. I had a lot of photo printing to do and I wanted to reorganize my supplies. So when I am on vacation, I usually stay home and do all the things. So this was just a picture of me just a couple of days before the new year and thought it would be a good representation of this, this time. And so I used some, uh, I used some Reset Girl stuff here to make this card. Uh, I just used a little banner and a honey sticker and some little embellishments from the, she's got this really adorable Whimsy Banners and Arrows sticker set that's got all the little hexes and hearts and stars. And then this card here is from Citrus Twist Kits and I just thought the colors were so perfect together um, for obviously a black and white photo. I had all the, the freedom of color. And I like here, this was already typed onto the card. It says 12 new chapters, 365 new chances. The other side is this photo of my record player and Peg and Cap, you know, just kind of hanging out there next to my my record player feels like the right place for them and so I, I use some alphas to say you spin me and I love you end of story because they're like the favorite couple that never really got together <laughs> so sad <laughs> they're my favorite this is a really fun layout that I did for Ellie's studio and I used um, one of the little two by two pocket pages and used all kinds of die cuts and alphas and all kinds of really fun stuff to document my love for I Love Lucy. I had been watching a lot of episodes and also they had just had a 50th like anniversary or something of being on the air or something like that. It was something special and so I just went and looked up some of my really favorite photos of Lucy and the show and um, this is one of my favorite memes about like her all her facial expressions. I can do two of her facial expressions and my kid thinks it's super funny. He's the only one. <laughs> um, but I love her. Here is where I documented my one little word for the year which is space. I'm still trying to find lots of ways to implement this into my life and world and craftiness but this was a really fun layout to do to just um, use purple number one this was a really fun floral background that i found on pinterest and then i added the word space uh, on my phone and then used some of the puffy alpha stickers to say one little word and so that had purple and pink in it and it just so happened that purple and pink was pretty prominent in this month's kit I think this was February so I had a lot of fun um, making all kinds of cards for this layout this is um, one of my very favorite shows that's super super popular and uh, season two hopefully will be coming out this fall I've been following them on Instagram because I'm like have to know when the new season's coming out and I've actually already re-watched almost half of the season <laughs> because it's just funny it's just good so if you haven't checked out the marvelous mrs Maisel, it's good really funny and um she's gorgeous and just she's a riot and all of the cast is actually really good they are so fabulous together so i used all of uh, digital products here from felicity jane kit and just to kind of show how you can print things right away with digital it's so fun 
and I typed the journaling onto um, a card with my typewriter. And actually it's just a quote from one of the things that she said uh, in the show. And I just used my typewriter and then I added a little strip on top here and a couple of layered labels and then just a couple of little like little stars, you know, to kind of match the the feel of the show. And then here was kind of one of my first times trying one of these little collage like embellishment things. I mean, that's not really true. I do have a traveler's notebook uh, spread that I did something similar, but for the masses, I guess it just feels like um, this is kind of where I'm going right now. I get to use a lot of embellishments in this type of layout, which is really fun. And then I get to kind of throw color all around and that's also very fun. So this was all about the year of color. So this was the, the, the thing that you could like go onto a website and it takes colors from your Instagram feed and puts them into these different like circles. And you can configure them in lots of different ways, like by most most color found would be the bigger circles and shockingly there's a lot of red in my <laughs> in my feed so I just used the the main colors in here and then um, used embellishments that matched here is a card from the reset girl and I used all kinds of reset girl goodies here to just kind of talk about I'm I'm kind of I'm starting some new things and I know that I'm not going to ever regret starting them but um, I don't want to ever like look back and think that I wasted um, any time taking care of myself or doing the things that I liked to do. So that's me saying that I started running again. And then we got sick in February and I have been off of doing that, which stinks. Here is a layout about me naming my studio. And to call it a studio is being super generous because I think we all know how small my <laughs> area is. But if I dream big and think big, then it feels big. So that's <laughs> that's what I'm going with. But I'm calling it Retro Hub Studio. And I really had fun with this layout. Again, a lot of Reset Girl stuff. Um, her digital shop um, had a lot of new stuff at this, at this time and, and everything was just so super fun and cute and new and whatever matched my shirt was what made it on here. So it was really fun. And I liked just using the little arrows and this little, my creative space stamp is from Felicity Jane. And that worked out super fun down there. Speaking of Felicity Jane, this is a layout using all kinds of fun Felicity Jane stuff. Um, this is actually a number from Ellie's studio though, and um, just some, you know, other randomy things, but mostly Ellie's studio florals. And um, I just wanted something again to document Thursday three, because I like documenting the Thursday three in my albums. I don't like to just keep them hanging out on Instagram. I like to make sure that they get in here. This was another fun project. Sometimes I like to document when Alyssa and I are about ready to tape our podcast. So that was really fun. Just using some of the digital cards and um, all the new little honey stickers. Everything that she puts out is just my favorite. It's always so fun and colorful. Here is a grid layout of some desktop things from my desk recently. I did a book stack or kind of like a planner stack, I guess. A um, couple of different planners and workbooks and traveler's notebooks and um, just on a little cute cake plate. And then a down shot of my telephone sunshine. And it was just kind of me giving my desk a little refresh. And I loved using all these little clusters of vintagey feels. So that was really fun to do. Here is a layout that I did for Ellie Studio using um, these acrylic rainbows. And I typed uh, all about how to be a rainbow <laughs> with my typewriter. And then I used all of the colors and splattered paint everywhere. And then on the other side here, I used um, all the labels to just make like this little rainbow collage of labels with the one um, up on some foam tape, just so it stuck out a little more and was kind of on top of all of the all the other ones. It was a really fun one to do. Here's also another project I did for Ellie's studio. 
this photo was actually from Christmas, as you can tell, um, but there was a difficult-ish time in our family right before this happened. And so this picture is extremely special to me because it kind of symbolized um, the, the kind of reconciliation of, of that small moment. <laughs> um, so this is a really special layout to me and I loved being able to use red and teal and black and it was just perfect. So, and I threw the little rainbow in because it made sense for um, the theme and the topic. And of course there are some other colors floating around in this picture, which made me feel okay with using that. <laughs> this is a good one. This is also an LE Studio project to um, commemorate our podcast. If you have not listened to one of our Hey Crafty Babes podcasts, you can listen on iTunes. You can also watch on YouTube. Um, we're filming and recording audio, so super fun. And um, I got to use this beautiful, big, brave word, um, acrylic word from LE Studio because it is something that I had some fears about. And so it was real, real perfect for me to be able to use that layout to document um, our Hey Crafty Babes podcast. Here is another Thursday three uh, page. I really had fun doing this card right here. This is um, a project for the Reset Girl using her digital stuff. And I used a bunch of labels that all had like the pink and orange or black from my sweater. And I just had some sticking off the edge, some in the center, and then filled in the little extra spots with some, um, some cute little smaller embellishments. And then wrote out my journaling that all comes from Instagram. So if I'm posting my Thursday three on Instagram, I'm just using that text and putting it into my album and using that as my journaling. Makes it super fun. I don't have to think about it again. <laughs> Here are two separate, um, separate layouts, but this one is a, a Felicity Jane project. And I loved making this layout. These colors were really soft and um, I really, really loved the coral and pastel colors of this kit. I believe this is Henley. And um, what I really had fun with was kind of matching up some of the colors here. So I used a couple of little dots for the blue section and then some lighter color here and then the pink here. It just kind of makes this not feel so stark and just sitting in the middle of the page. I really wanted to soften it up a little bit. And then I used some more of the little um, epoxy dots on other places so that, you know, felt like it flowed together. And um, yeah. It was just all about um, getting up at 5 a.m. and having that quiet time to myself. And I, you know, when it was cold weather, I was having warm tea instead of my iced tea. So just a little documentation there. Uh, this is an older photo actually, but I really had it sitting aside so that I could use it. And I had these cards all sitting together with it. So I needed to get them done and in here. So this was taken probably in the fall, but it worked out to be put in right here. And that is okay. Cause this is not in chronological order. Here's a, another Felicity Jane project I did using the digital, uh, kit from, uh, Oh boy, see now I'm losing track of, <laughs> losing track. I think this is not Heidi. This is Zoe, Brooke, no. Okay, I get, there's like so many beautiful names and there is, it's escaping me. Anyway, it was the, the rainy one. <laughs> so I created this card using the digital version of the girl on top of this card. And so that way I didn't have to print her separately from the card and then cut her out and put her on here. I just did it in Photoshop prior to printing the card out. So that's something cool about the digital kits that you can do. This is an LE Studio project that I did to document my work, which I don't normally do, but I had this really cute picture of my desk with all this yellow and just wanted to kind of document that I do work. <laughs> um, Oops. And I, I celebrated nine years in the same 
<laughs> same office, um, which I think is pretty cool. So I just use some of the puffy stickers to um, say like the range in which I'm doing things like I'm at work and then I'm home um, on this little today's schedule. And then here and there, like being at work and being at home and talking about the difficulty of that um, and, you know, kind of being proud of um, just not wanting to do both, but having to do both and making it work. <laughs> Oh, this was me like doing some serious art therapy. I was not in a good, <laughs> not in a good mood and I needed to create something and I wasn't really ready for scrapbooking and journaling and memory keeping. So I just picked three paint colors and just kind of went at it and I let it dry. And then I did some stamping on top and thought, you know, I'm throwing it in there because that was really fun. <laughs> I felt much better afterwards. Here's a, an LE Studio project that I did as well with um, this photo I took of the blossoms and then the quote, a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. And I've always loved that. And so I used a bunch of die cuts and stuff with the light color blue and the pink and some green. And I really had fun um, trying to figure out kind of how all these pieces could layer themselves with each other. Uh, this is, this is a layout about just Friday in general. So I had a few pictures from the day and then I just used some, um, some pieces that match to kind of like fill in the outer part of the grid. So that was really fun to just, um, gr you know, the grid, like the main parts of the, the layout being the photos kind of centered and then using things on the outside. Here is something from the same day, but I went to um, my husband's office to um, be um, to begin the this uh, eating program that I'm that I'm working on, and they just they have such a beautiful office and always have fresh flowers, and it's always so bright and cheery in there. And so while I was waiting, I I snapped this picture and then used it to kind of talk about um, just getting ready to make the change that I was um, preparing myself for. And it was really fun to also just use a bunch of circles and labels and just kind of cluster stuff up here. Um, that was fun. Uh, this is probably my favorite layout I've ever made in my entire life. <laughs> I'm kidding. It probably isn't, but it's just my favorite right now at this moment. If you have, haven't seen this one, I did it recently for the Felicity Jane blog. Um, I cannot get over how gorgeous this kit is. And I love all of the texture and this crepe paper and these two by two squares of vellum, like everything in this um, kit was so delicious. So good. And then I just posted this one recently on my feed. Actually, by the time this video goes up, it's probably not going to be that recent. But again, using a lot of Felicity Jane stuff in this um, series of four pictures that I snapped of myself. Um, and just kind of talking about how I'm feeling right now and that I'm ready to like do a lot of things. And um, I just kind of had this list of things I want, want to make prior, you know, not make priorities, but like, these are just things that are important to me when it comes to, um, you know, building my shop and my brand and I'm um, kind of, you know, everything else that I'm doing. So that is the end of volume five. So far, I do have quite a bit of space left. So I know that I'm going to keep, um, chugging along inside of this album. And what I love about it is that I can just do stuff about, me that doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. Um, that's what the family album is for. And so I hope that um, if you are considering or scared or nervous about doing documentation about yourself, you should just get started doing that because you do have stories to tell and you should be telling them. So I encourage you to get started on an album about yourself, whether it's in a traveler's notebook or in a six by eight album, or just in an art journal of any sort, get your stories out. I encourage that. And, uh, definitely will, will be, um, continuing to encourage you ladies to make sure that that's a priority in your scrapbooking. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and joining another look inside. And if you have questions, you know that you can leave them in the comments. We'll talk soon. Bye guys.